What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking an ecliptic Claymore 3 and turning it into this bad boy. All decked out, extra habs, extra engines, extra firepower, the full works. We're also gonna be reworking the inside of this ship so that you don't have to use as many ladders. And I'll show you what I mean right here. So when you enter the ship on the back side, there's a wall right here. You can't run through the bottom of it. And then same thing with the top. If you go up the stairs and then you go back through, you can't actually get to the docking bay without going down another ladder and then up another ladder. And it just, it makes no sense. I mean, honestly, I really like this ship. It's a really cool looking ship, but the layout with the ladders, especially with the three, and I think the two and the one also are the same. It just doesn't look very good to me. Another thing we're gonna be doing, like I said, we're gonna upgrade the weaponry. We're gonna be taking a look at the reactor, the grav drive. We're gonna probably take those stairs. We're gonna move them to the front where I think it makes more sense. And we're just gonna make this ship more functional and we're gonna add some habs to it, add some engines to it, and just make it like one of the best ships that you can possibly build. So, first thing, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean here. This is the Claymore 3, unmodified. And you go in, you got yourself your hatch, and then there's a ladder here. This ladder takes you up to the dock Got a little hab. And then if you keep going through, you got another ladder. And there's a wall right here. This wall should be connected all the way through so that you can get to the brig and then get up through the brig to the stairwell. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second here. So we gotta go up the ladder. And of course you guys know ladders are awful in this game. Like they couldn't have made a slower animation. So here you got your control room. And also back there, there's another wall where it won't let you go through because there's a brace. So here you got your bridge. This is personally my favorite cockpit or bridge in the entire game. And you can go down these stairs and then here you have your brig. It's a two by two Nova. And right here, there should be a door that goes all the way through. And that's what we're gonna be trying to do is set up a door that goes through so we can eliminate as many ladders as possible. I'm also going to change up this brig to be something else. Right now it's, it's a brig and it's got yourself, you know, a couple prisoner bays if you guys got prisoners. And then through this door here, is your captain's quarters. I actually really like this area. This is gonna remain. Of course, Sarah's already, you know, decided this is her area. Unbelievable. So yeah, if you go back up these stairs, if you wanna get to the docking area, it's just like you gotta go down a ladder then you gotta go through here. And then you gotta go back up this ladder here. And it's just slow animations. They should have made it more like Call of Duty where you can just run up a rat ladder really quick, you know? Then it wouldn't be a problem. And then there's a wall right here. There's a brace right behind there that we're gonna remove so that we can just run right through on the top and the bottom. So prerequisite skill that you might wanna have before we go through this tutorial is you probably wanna rank up your starship design. I've got mine to rank four. This is gonna allow us to get some of the best parts in the game for ship building. If you got rank two, you're gonna get some pretty nice class B and some uh, early class C parts and whatnot. And that should get you by. And I think all the habs you can get, I don't know if you really need a, a rank up on that to get all of your habs. 
So we're gonna be heading over to the solar system, Saturn, and then this moon here, Titan. And the reason we're going here is because this guy has all of the Nova parts and the Claymore is mostly all Nova parts. So we're trying to stick to sure. the same theme of the ship while also improving functionality. And you can get Nova and other ship techs, but you can't get like the two by two or the three by two different like size brig or um, habs like that brig that was down there. And uh, you can only get like some of the more basic ones at other ship techs. So first thing, we're gonna move some of our parts. If you guys are unaware, you can hold shift and then left click and you can select multiple parts to move them. So we just moved our landing bay here. I think that makes the most sense. Keep it in the front, that way we have quicker access to our cockpit. And then these are structural pieces here. We're just gonna move those aside. And then this is a structural brace that I was talking about that impedes the top area. We're gonna delete that. We've got some companion ways, one by one, there's a bunch of these. So we're gonna take out all of our companion ways. That's a living quarters. We're gonna delete that as well. Just start from scratch. So delete all your companion ways. There's one more hidden back here. And that's a lot of unused space right there. So we're just gonna delete it. And we're gonna add a few halves. We're gonna start on the bottom side. So if you guys are unfamiliar with shipbuilding, if you want to attach a hab together, you have to hover over where the doorway is. And in this case, you hit G to attach. So we're gonna go over to our habs and you can use your arrows to scroll over left and right to the different types of habs. So we're gonna scroll over here. These are all the different ones that you can get. And we're gonna add a workbench or a workshop, I'm sorry. So add a workshop and move this over the sides so we can see what we're doing. And then we're gonna add also right behind it an infirmary. This will give us all of our research equipment that we need. Well, for the most part. So there you go, you got your two halves set up like this so. And then on the top, we're gonna have to do a little bit of modifications. Because as you can see, we're not gonna have enough room to put two two by one halves unless we move some stuff around. But it's still gonna look good the way we move some things around. So what we're gonna have to do is take our storage here as well as our reactor and move it over. And then that'll give us enough room here to put two more two by one halves on top of each other. We're gonna move that grab drive just down one slot. And you guys will see in a little bit here what I'm gonna do. It's gonna look pretty good. So, up here, I'm gonna add an armory. And then behind it, we're gonna go with the all-in-one berth. There's also an A and a B. Uh, later on, I actually ended up going with the B. Uh, it's all personal preference, whatever you guys feel like. And again, with all these different halves, you can mix and match whatever ones you want. Just 
for your own needs. So I'm going to put now the reactor on top of the grav drive. And it's still symmetrical here. Here I forgot to modify this, so I spliced in this video clip here. We're going to change our Nova Brig. That's a 2 by 2 and That was that area I showed you right when we went downstairs, down the stairwell. And we're going to instead make it into a battle station, which is really cool. I think it looks way better, to be honest. So then back over here, I want to increase the storage or cargo, I should say. The cargo is pretty good with a stock Claymore, but I just want just a little more. So I'm going to make some modifications here. I ended up moving that structural just a little bit further down. It kind of gives it like a, almost like a belly instead of having it up front because that's where our landing bay is now. So what I ended up doing is actually deleting one of those structural pieces here in order to fit storage box. And then this is the storage box that came with the ecliptic claymore. And then attach your boxes. These are these little small ones also came with it. Okay. Now, later on I decided I wanted to add some more habs to make this ship even more functional. So I'm going to remove these pieces temporarily, just put them off the side. And we're going to add a few different halves on each side here. So I'm going to add a couple more two by one just to get this ship fully functional for everything. So on this side, I'm at a science lab. So that should cover everything. If we have an infirmary, infirmary, a workshop, and a science lab, we'll have everything covered. And then on this side, I originally ended up putting a computer core hab. However, I just, I think it only added like one crew slot. And uh, later on down the line, I actually ended up just adding the living quarters there. I replaced it. So add your structural piece. Can look like so. Add them back on both sides. And now from here, we've got a problem. Our mobility is now 58 because we added cargo and we also added HABs. So what we're gonna have to do is adjust our engines. In this case, I'm just going to add a couple more beefy engines, the same as the ones that are um, already on the Claymore. These are the Supernova 2100 engines. The ones that are on the Claymore 3 are actually 2200, however, I hadn't unlocked those yet, just based on my level. I'm like mid-50. So we're going to add another one on each side. And then that'll bring our mobility up. It says 91, but that's with those two little small engines that I ended up having to, to actually delete later on. I'll show you why. So here I want to actually add a little more storage. I decided to switch up the storage box, delete this one, and then add this 20T haul hauler cargo. And it actually ended up looking better because it was flush with the bottom of the ship. I think it actually turned out really nice. 
And now we got 4,000 cargo, which is awesome. All right, we're gonna add our structural pieces back onto the ship. Add your docker back onto the ship. And at first I put it back where it was originally. However, then I had an empty space behind it where that hab had it extended out just a little bit. So I ended up just moving it back one spot, your docker. And then I added structural cowling to LTF, which is the same as the other ones. It's just different color right now. And don't worry, we will paint the ship. I know it looks ridiculous <laughs> with the white and the greenish gray. And then the other thing we did to make this look a little more aesthetically pleasing is added a couple more cowling type wings that are also Nova. It's the two LPFs. Give it kind of more of a, a winged look. More aerodynamic look. So it was telling me I had a few problems. I had to delete the ship engines because I didn't have enough power for my reactor. So I got rid of those. And then it also told me it had a ship part that wasn't attached. What you can do is you can double click on your ship and it'll highlight all parts if you have this problem. And then just move your ship around and you'll see what part was not attached. And you can either reattach it or delete it or whatever you want to do. So that's it for the structural. Now we're going to head over to Alpha Centauri and add some of our weaponry. We're going to look at our reactor, grav drive, shields, all those things. And the reason I'm going to Alpha Centauri is because they typically have the most weaponry hey, and grav drives. The other good okay, place to go no would be uh, Aquila. So here I was looking at this reactor. This is actually a really good reactor that comes with the Ecliptic Claymore 3. It's got a 38 reactor for power and I think the highest you can go is 40. And I know there's one out there, it's a, a pinch. I think it's actually available at Aquila, but um, I did not have access to that reactor even when I tried to fly over there and look. And I think it's just because of my level right now. If I was a higher level, I'd have access to it. Even though I have piloting four, this game is all level based with some of your parts, which is kind of strange, but it is just how the game is. So we're gonna also look at our shield here. I'm gonna upgrade the shield to something a little more beefy. We're gonna go with the Assurance SG-1800. And this is going to add an additional like 500 shield based on or from the shield that was originally on the ecliptic claymore. So that should be nice. It's always good to have more shields. And you always want your shields to be powered up to the max. And then I looked at our grav drive. This grav drive is great. It has a jump thrust of 50. That's typically the only stat I look at. And 50, I believe, is the max in the game. Essentially, your jump thrust tells you how far in the galaxy you can go. So you could travel essentially all the way across from one side to the other with no problems. You also want to make sure you got good fuel. And the fuel tanks are located here, right behind that structural piece. These are good fuel tanks. I end up just keeping these. Putting them back where they were. And if you guys need help finding the Claymore, check out my other video. I do a top five best ships in the game and where to find them. I'll link that in the top right. All right, and now, on to the weapons. 
that everyone's been waiting for. What we're going to be adding here is a uh, four PBO 175 auto helium beams. Originally, I tried to put them on the back side, and I was there weren't mounting points. I could have used mounting plates if I wanted to, but I ended up putting them in the front, which I think actually looked pretty cool. So yeah, I tried to put them here, but then I realized they were kind of blocking. Well, they might have been blocking, and I didn't want to run that risk. So I found there's a mounting point at the front of the ecliptic claymore here, and I ended up just adding two on each side. So one there, and then you can mount them on the other side of that clip, just right below it. And I think that looks pretty cool, honestly. So get two on each side. And these have a energy rating of three. So if you look at your power on each one of those, you've got 12 to work with. So that's how you know if you put too many weapons on your ship, you just need to divide by that number. So here we're gonna be adding the lasers. We're going with the Dragon 261P SX Pulse Lasers. And these are the same, max power three. So you can put a maximum of four on your ship before they become worthless. Or underpowered, I should say. So I'm gonna put them on these wings that we added. Make it symmetrical, two on each side. That should give us some good shield firepower to destroy those shields. And then finally, on the top here, we've got our Obliterator 250 MEV Alpha turrets. These came with the Ecliptic Claymore 3. I like these and they're very good guns. So, we ended up keeping those on here. And I probably could have added one more of them, but two should be sufficient for firepower. So there we go. That is the full build. Now all we gotta do is paint it. And here I can show you, you can paint specific parts, or I prefer to just highlight the entire ship and just paint the whole thing. I'm not just I'm not super creative <laughs> so color one I'm going with like a, a dark blue color three is your accents going with like a dark purple and then color two I'm gonna be going with like a dark like gray almost black and I thought that looked pretty good and now all I need is a name and you guys uh, like I said I'm not super creative <laughs> you guys let me know I need I need some suggestions on a good name for this ship let me know in the comments so anyway there you go And the mobility did go down a little bit. That's because we added a nicer shield and some guns, but 75 is pretty good for mobility, or 74, I should say. So I'll show you guys a tour of the inside. You can see we got our landing bay on the front, which I think makes so much more sense. So this is the, the war room, or I guess the, what they call it, the battle room. I love that that table it looks so cool this is way better than the brig at least I think it is so this is the other part of it 
And then here is the door that leads to the bridge. And then up top here, we've now got our control room, same control room. Here's your armory. This is the, the Nova armory is the only one that actually has mannequins for armor. Some weapon racks. A poorly placed ladder in the middle of my hab. Thank you, Bethesda, for your weird ship building. And then it goes through. I added a... This is the all-in-one B. Like I said, I changed it. And then it leads up to your dock right here. So this is where if you were to dock a ship, you would go to. The ladder, I guess, is okay if I need to get down there quickly. And then down our stairs here, I'll show you guys the full bottom area. I forgot to show it here, but on the left side there was the captain's quarters. It's the same captain's quarters that we showed earlier. So here we've got our infirmary. And I tried to get this to go through. And I think what happened was when I added those halves on the side, it decided to put the doors on the side for those other halves. So if you go through this door here, and I guess it's not horrible, but I might still try to rework it a little bit to get it to be a little more symmetrical. So here's that living area. Here's your galley. You can make some food. And I wish there was a door to the other. So I'll show you in a sec here. So if I go across the other side, here's your science lab. And then if you go through this door here, this is where you can get to your workshop. So it's not horrible, but I think if I didn't add those halves on left and right, it would have actually let me just go straight through this wall here. But it's way better than having to go up a ladder and down a ladder and <laughs> just to get to your halves. It's like, really? Why? The war room. And then, of course, your hatch to get back out. It's right there. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. If you guys have any questions on this build or comments or advice to make this build even better, let me know down below. Consider subscribing and as always, have a wonderful day. Yeah, work it, girl.